Hey everybody, it's Mark with Cheese Bees. It is March the 12th, 2023. And why am I showing you a picture of a tree? Well, it's uh, it's 40, about 40 degrees out here. And this is where I had my swarm trap from last year. Uh, it got really warm. Bees started pulling in pollen. And it's going to be a cold uh, the next couple of days. They're calling for high 20s. So I'm getting my swarm traps ready uh, to put up. Or I'm actually going to go ahead and put one up today. Um... I don't like to nail into my trees, so I've got that thing strapped in there. Here's the swarm trap that I had uh, in one of my videos. I showed you why you don't leave them out. Painted them all up, sealed them up good. Uh, got this one ready. Uh, so the dead outs that you had last year, this is what you use them for. Got a uh, thing of comb or, or foundation, so that way they can uh, start using it or give them something to do. Here's uh, part of an old dead out. You can see some brood that was in there. But a good good hunk of honey there. Some partial comb. Another uh, some more honey there. And uh, this one's this one's actually got some honey in it too. So I'm not sure that this stuff is 100% honey. Uh, it was some that was uh, sugar water that was fed. So uh, probably some honey. Don't know that I would sell it as honey, uh, but I think it's great for uh, swarm traps. But Got our little uh, hole reducer here, so you can turn it to, you know, I'm going to leave it open there. That's queen excluder, and that's for transportation. So we're going to uh, mount this up there, uh, and I'm going to run another uh, ratchet strap on top of it. Like I said, I don't like to nail in the trees. I'm not making it too high because uh, this thing is going to be heavy when it's full of bees, so it's kind of hard to get down. Um, but anyway, hanging up swarm traps, getting ready for bee season. Dead outs are tough, but use your resources. It's all installed. It's got the uh, strap around it and sitting on that thing. So I think it's going to be in good shape. Now what I will do uh, when it gets a little warmer and you start flying every day, I will get some Swarm Commander. Um, it's a spray. It's kind of expensive, but uh, you just need to put a couple squirts on a little cotton ball, drop it in the hole and uh that really attracts bees so it's you know it's up there a piece but i think uh, we're gonna be in good shape and i've got a few more i'm gonna put up but get your swarm traps ready bee fishing